Facebook is one of the easiest ways to make money online right now. It's really simple. There are two ways to do this. We will discuss those in this video, but more importantly, I'll talk about three key things, which are PFNs, pace and niche. These three things are very important when you're trying to make money this way. So let's just start with the first example. I will explain you what pace means and why is it so important. This is going to be our first example. So this is a page on Facebook, which is called Mountain Cabins. And you can see it's a huge one. They've got 1.5 million followers. They've got many likes and all of that. You can see you know, the LLC is responsible for this page. So yeah, it's pro. Now, right out of the bat, I want to tell you that when you're starting out, you won't have this many likes, this many followers, this many shares as they have on their content. I know that goes without saying, but I still get people asking me like, why I don't have 5,000 followers and I just started yesterday, right? Yeah, that still happens. So I just have to say that. And no, I'm not selling any courses. You will not find any affiliate links down there. I just want to share this with you. So mountain cabins, what I want to show to you, what I want you to look at right now is how often they're posting. So as you can see, this one was 45 minutes ago. So as you can see, 109 shares. That's amazing. Many likes, many comments. The next one is three hours ago. Once more, many shares. Then it is five hours ago. So you can see the pattern. It's almost like every two hours. This one is eight hours ago. It could easily be two again. Then it is nine hours ago. So yeah, as you can see, so it is one, two hours. So I think that they post each two hours. As you can see, this one is 12 hours ago. This one is 14 hours ago. And this one is 15 hours ago. Still many shares, many comments, a lot of likes. Then there's like 17 hours ago. And then there's like 19 hours ago, this one. And then there's 21. I suppose it's going to be 23. And that's going to be one day ago, right? A day ago, a lot of comments, a lot of likes, a lot of shares. They have found their perfect pace. But that's easy once you have a lot of followers. So it is one post each two hours. So it takes like 12 of these per day, right? Some niches can handle even more frequent posts. You might be able to go with like 24 per day. That's like one per hour or even 36 times. To figure out what works best for your niche, just go to Facebook, go to the search bar and search the keywords that you're using, all right? Look at other pages to see what they're doing. This is the best way to learn. And this is what you have to do in the beginning. All right. Once more, I'm not selling any courses, but if I did, I would like you to do this. I would tell you to go and to search and see what other people are doing and learn. All right. Before even creating yourself an account, before even creating a page, learn for a week. All right. Go and study this. Trust me, that's the only way in which you will find success by studying your competition. Go and see what they work, how often they post, whether they use AI images. This all has to be within your own niche, right? Go and see what works. If it works, well, you know that those people have spent a lot of time in order to get there, all right? So if it works, just go and copy the thing. Don't copy the posts and all of that. Just copy what they're doing. Here's an example. So I've searched for mountain cabins and there's going to be a lot of these. You just click on pages. You click here on locations if you want to do that. And then we can explore some of these. We're looking for pages that imitate the successful ones. You know, these big dogs, the one that I showed you earlier. People often copy them and it is possible. And yeah, you can find your place in this platform. But we need to see if those who copy them are successful or not. For example, this is not a successful one. This is like Mountain Cabin. They have like 13K followers. But as you can see, they lost the pace. As you can see, no shares, no likes, no nothing. All right. So I can just scroll through these. They've lost the pace. This one, though, they have 97K followers. And you can see they've got something going. Four hours ago, as you can see, two shares. That's good. 14 hours ago. So that's 10 hours difference, nine shares. Then it is 19 hours ago, it is eight shares, and then it is a day ago. So three per day. This is day ago, yeah. Good amount of shares, good amount of likes for 97K followers. Really good a day ago, this one as well. So they do three per day. That's their thing. And they made it work. But if you decide to make three per day, you can't slow down. 
This is a big problem on Facebook because if you slow down, it can mess up the algorithm. All right. The algorithm, you train it, okay? It expects a certain number of posts. For example, eight per day or five per day or 12 per day. You just have to stick to a consistent schedule. You can't be sporadic with it. What I do in the beginning, let's say that I wanted to make a new page. What I do is I start with eight per day. Yeah, then I get some followers. It's not easy to start, just like with anything, but it's not easy to start. But once I get some followers, this is what Facebook tells me, okay, we will give you some reach because we see that you're consistent and you gained some kind of following. Let's just say 100 or 200, maybe even 500. So they give you some reach and this is where it happens. Then I increase it to 24 per day because I want to take advantage of it. I want to take that opportunity that Facebook gave me. They gave me some reach and then I will just increase the number and the pace of my posts in order to just fully take advantage of that opportunity that Facebook gave me. So when you notice that there is a little bit more reach on your posts than it was before, then you push it. So 24 per day, like for the next few months. Yeah, it does take a lot of time, but you can use AI generated images, whether it depends on your niche or not, or you can pay someone else to do the posts for you to schedule the posts. You know, you can schedule all of that. You just have to be there. So if you want to go 10 per day, do that. If you want to go five per day, you can see these people go three per day, but just don't go lower once you get the traction. All right. It's just going to give bad signals to the algorithm and you're essentially just going to confuse it and it's just going downhill from there. Now, let's talk about monetization of this. The thing that I do, and it is maybe the best thing to do for yourself as well, is moving the traffic off the platform. That is moving the traffic elsewhere, right? So we get the traffic on Facebook, like all of these other ones, and we move it over. All right, so we move it over to, let's say, our website. First of all, I don't like to depend on the platforms, whether it is Instagram, whether it is Facebook, so whether it is Meta, or it is YouTube or whatever. Algorithms change, rules change, and you don't want yourself to be at their mercy. So, first option, have a website. Move the traffic there because it is yours, all right? And there's like few options in order to monetize on your website. The first one is the easiest one, display ads, right? Google Sense, whatever, you display the ads, and that's the least profitable thing, even though it is pretty good. So it's just ads that appear on your screen, right? You've seen those. The next option is to have some kind of a product. Let's say that you are maybe into AI things and you want to sell phone cases, right? Why this works? Well, you've proven you can get the traffic on Facebook. Then you've proven that you can move that traffic over to your website. Well, it is the only logical next step to have some products in line, which is going to be related to your niche. All right, because you already have certain people who are interested in your niche and what you have to offer. So just sell them something related to it. And trust me, that works. We are consumer creatures nowadays, and it is very easy to spend money online. You just we already have our cards saved there. Right. So it's just one click away from instinct purchase. Right. So if you get something which is relevant to your niche, people are going to buy that. That's just how it works. And the last step in which you can monetize your service is through services. That is, you lead people through something. You sell a course or you have a self-help program, whatever. This one is the most profitable, but it does take a lot of time because you have to go on one-on-one -on -one calls. You have to record yourself with some video presentations or something. And you essentially just got to be there 24-7. But yeah, you get the most amount of money. And you have to be knowledgeable in a certain field. If you don't want to go through all the website making, through all the product making, service making, there is one more option and it's free to use. Actually, it's newsletters and newsletters are really, really powerful for this to work. You just need a platform and you will offer free newsletter to people. You just put a link of that in your about section on Facebook. Now, you might be thinking, how can you earn money if you offer free newsletter? Well, Beehive is the platform. This is the place for newsletters. And what this does, it's given you this for free. 
all right up to 2500 subscribers you get this for free you have the custom website you have custom newsletters and you don't have to pay a penny until you reach 25,000. actually 2500 sorry for that and how do you make money with it it's through this all right now we have the possibility to put the ads inside of emails all right this is per click and they pay like three four dollars per click on each one of these and trust me this can be really profitable and it's way better than to depend on a certain platform why is that so you've got an email list all right you've got this whole email list of people who are interested in what you have to say they willingly gave you their email in order to receive more content from you and then they just want to get that and if they see something which is relevant to your niche they will click on it and you will be monetized with the help of beehive all right so that's a new possibility and you can do a lot of things once you have enough emails in your email list trust me you can even sell your newsletter altogether if you find a customer for it newsletters and emails are a new thing right it's just like if you follow something, but it goes to your email where you do everyday activities, right? So it's a good way to, yeah, get the attention. So that's about it. Do the research, study more, see what works with other people and replicate that. It's simple, right? But it needs work. So yeah, wish you good luck and I'll catch you in the next one.